Hey, what's up guys? Run a bunch here, bringing you another installment of the most under the radar sports betting and sports talk show on YouTube, the Run a Bunch Sports Show. Guys, let's go ahead and get right into this Monday installment. Um, a lot of madness this weekend, a lot of madness. Uh, I really enjoyed the madness. I will be talking about all the upsets and madness later in the show. But guys, let's go ahead and get right into uh, the picks for today. I only have a few picks, um, a lot of weird spreads and things I don't really like today. So I'm not necessarily giving you guys a lot of picks for today, but the picks that I am giving you, I believe are, you know, solid. So statistics have been kind of thrown out the window in terms of um, March Madness. Upsets are happening left and right. It's pretty unprecedented, actually, how many teams have been upset in this tournament, but I guess that uh, you know, during a pandemic, it only makes sense that uh, the unexpected is happening. So, guys, uh, my first picks today are going to be NCAA basketball picks for today. Uh, the second round finishes up today. So we'll see who else gets to fill in those sweet 16 spots. So let's go ahead and get right into it. All right, guys, so my first pick today is LSU Tigers plus five versus the Michigan Wolverines, which this is an eight seed, one seed matchup, which we've actually seen at least once already this weekend that those can be challenging sometimes. We watched the uh, Loyola Chicago actually dominate Illinois um, yesterday, which I actually had happening. So, you know, a little golf clap for me, I guess. But um, honestly, my reasoning for this pick does not involve a lot of numbers. Um, the numbers on LSU don't necessarily back them up in this situation. Um, Michigan is very good against the spread on the season. But honestly, I don't know. It just feels like LSU can cover that plus five. Um, LSU, you know, they just... They beat um, St. Bonaventure, who's a team that is also very good against the spread. They beat them pretty handedly. And then before that, obviously, the SEC championship, they kept pretty toe-to-toe -to -toe with uh, Alabama, who is the number two seed in one of the regions. I'm not exactly sure which region that is, but Alabama is also proven to be a very, very good team. <laughs> so, you know, I feel that, LSU has, you know, proven that they can stick with the best. I think they will do it today. Honestly, I'm not going to say LSU is going to get the upset, but I'm also not going to say that I won't sprinkle a little bit of money on the money line, depending where that's at. Um, actually, let's see here. Ooh, the money line the you can get on DraftKings right now is plus 185 on LSU. That's kind of fun. I'm not going to lie. That's kind of fun. Man, that's that's interesting. But we're not here to talk about the money lines, I guess. Even though I do like that money line. I do like the value in that plus 185. Um, yeah, most places here have it at plus five, except for Bet America, who has it at, my, at uh, plus four and a half, minus four and a half for Michigan. I, I don't know. I just feel good about this plus five. I feel like so far this weekend, it has just been proven that upsets are going to happen. Uh, so I think we kind of have to, you know, lean in favor of those underdogs. The underdogs have just went insane this weekend, throwing statistics completely out the window. So I like LSU tonight uh, against Michigan. And I would even tell you guys to consider the money line because I've made a lot of money this weekend on money line underdogs, guys. So let's go ahead and move on to my second pick tonight. All right, guys, this is my second and uh, technically final kind of uh, NCAA pick I'm going to be giving out tonight. I love Ohio plus five and a half versus Creighton, and I even like the money line. Guys, Ohio is Ohio's for real. Ohio is for real. They, I mean, they're 15 and seven against the spread this season, so... It's not like the case of LSU where they're just playing well down the stretch. Ohio is playing well down the stretch, and they're also good at covering. So I really, really like Ohio. Ohio is going to be my lock of the day today. 
I just have a really good feeling that they're a sweet 16 caliber type team. I didn't like the way Creighton played uh, UC Santa Barbara. Um, I think that was Saturday. Uh, I really thought Santa Barbara deserved that game. They were Santa Barbara did not even play their best game. They didn't shoot the ball very well, and they still only lost by a few. They lost by one point. Lost by one point. Uh, I just Creighton did not impress me. If Creighton would have blown them out, maybe I would feel a little different about this pick. But Ohio is a better version of UC Santa Barbara by far. And I'll tell you what, Jason Preston and their knockoff of Virginia, he didn't have the best game. He didn't even score. He barely scored over 10 points, I believe. I think it was like 10 or 11 points. He's typically a 17 to 20 point a game guy. So it feels to me like, you know, I, Creighton's a worse defense than Virginia. It feels to me like Preston's going to go off and uh, they're just, they're going to eat them up. I, I, I like, I, I love this plus five and a half, man. It, it stinks for the sports books, kind of. I mean, it doesn't because I love to beat the sports books. But as I mean, a 13 seed, you almost have to put as an underdog against a, uh, I believe Creighton is a five seed. But this just feels to me like an absolute upset. Let's look at the money line here plus 190 plus 195 guys that's that's money to be made i'm telling you that's money to be made almost at plus 200 that would get you if you bet ten dollars that would get you twenty dollars in profit uh so it'd be a thirty dollar payout that that speaks to me i i love that i will be taking that tonight for sure um ohio made me money against virginia uh, that I made 25 off of $10 for Ohio against Virginia. And I think, I think that's kind of why the money line's a little bit lower than it had been because I think Ohio proved that they belong here. You know, I, I just think Creighton's a little bit too inconsistent for me to pick them to, especially when by five and a half points. And, uh, you know, Oregon's already proven today that uh, it could be another day of a lot of upsets. Uh, just a little update. I just got a notification. Oregon is up by 10 on Iowa at the half. So that is very interesting. I have Oregon plus five and Oregon money line against uh, Iowa. So that will be uh, pretty nice if they can finish that out. Um, 56 points in the first half. Good Lord, Oregon, man, shooting 60% from the field. That's absurd. That is, that's nuts. And they're still only up 10. Man, Iowa must be shooting the ball really well, too. That, they, might, they might score 200 points. <laughs> that's that's crazy. Um, but, yeah, guys, we'll go ahead and move on here. All right, guys, so my final game tonight, this is actually not going to be a pick, but I want to give you guys some advice. Um, some, some games I've made some money on this weekend have been from live betting which is basically the game's already started and you kind of get to feel out how both teams are going to play. And then you take the number of what you feel. Uh, in a lot of places, Kansas, Kansas and USC have kind of gone back and forth as the favorite in this game. This is a very, very interesting matchup. Both of these teams are very similar in terms of the record overall and the record against the spread. Personally, I, I like USC. I like Evan Mobley. I don't know if Kansas has an answer for him, but I'm honestly not sure if it's going to be enough. Uh, I think I predicted them in my bracketology. I think I predicted Kansas to beat USC in this in this round. But, you know, I, I just don't know. Kansas really didn't impress me against Eastern Washington, which was almost an upset. But Kansas does get back one of their best players. He was in COVID protocol. And, you know, Kansas is just one of those teams, you know, I, as a West Virginia fan, I can sit here and tell you that I despise Kansas basketball, but you know, it's just, it's just one of those things that, you know, they always end up to, sh they always end up showing up at the exact right time they need to, to make a run. And I just kind of feel like they might do that today, but I'm looking for the, the reason I'm going live betting here is because if USC comes out and starts rolling, then probably wouldn't touch this game. But, you know, if it, if it goes a little back and forth and USC's up a little bit and Kansas becomes the underdog bet, you can definitely make some money off of Kansas. So that is the reason why I'm telling you guys about this game. Uh, I probably wouldn't pick on this game. 
if I had to pick anything, let's see, what is the total? Some places have it at 134, 135. It's probably pretty on point. I would probably go with the over just a little bit. I would say it's probably gonna be high 60s in the scoring. Um, yeah, a lot of people agree with that. 55% of the tickets are on the over. Let's go ahead to the spread here. 50% of the tickets are on Kansas, which I don't necessarily know if I agree or disagree with that yet, but see the money line. Yeah, see both teams have like the minus 110. They're kind of in around that area since it's so even. But I'm telling you, if USC, if they go back and forth a little bit and USC just gets up a little bit and Kansas still looks like Kansas, might be smart to take them as the underdog bet. We'll see what happens. So guys, that is my NCAA basketball for today. I have one more pick for you guys. And I'm going to the NBA for this one. I don't have any baseball or hockey picks for today. All those spreads, I, I the money lines, I did not like at all. I didn't really, I, I can't trust any of the spring training teams because, you know, statistically on paper, it looks like a team should blow out another team. And, you know, the Pittsburgh Pirates give up 12 runs. They score 10 runs themselves and lose a game. So, you know, I just don't know what to do there. And hockey, I just don't like the matchups for this evening. Uh, I expect maybe a hockey pick on like Wednesday or something, but uh, not tonight. So guys, my, my NBA pick for tonight is the Oklahoma City Thunder and the Minnesota Timberwolves to go under 226 and a half points. Now, some places even have it at 227, which is even better, 227 and a half. We're seeing here. Not bad, not bad. Um, my reason for this, honestly, I just hate the NBA schedule today. I don't like the spreads at all. I just don't really have a good grasp or a good feel of the teams that are playing today. Uh, either the matchup, both teams are kind of bad against the spread, or, for example, the matchup of, like, the Utah Jazz and the Chicago Bulls. Both teams are good against the spread, so I don't really feel comfortable going one way or the other. Now, another reason for this, both teams – are significantly slow uh, on offense. Oklahoma City and Minnesota rank almost uh, dead last in the league in offensive like pace per game. And not sure if it shows here. 60% is going on the over, so we're actually going to fade the public here, but I like the under a lot. Um, Shy uh, Alexander SGA, whatever you want to call him, he is also day to day, so we don't even know if he's going to play or not. Which, if he does not play, then I don't know if you can really go with OKC to win or to score a whole lot of points to begin with. I don't know who their secondary score is. Um, maybe uh, Lou Dort. I, I, I don't know Al Horford. Do they still have Al Horford? Like I just don't know much about this team. I don't really like. Oklahoma City Thunder, uh, especially because they're just offensive, offensively challenged. I mean, without SGA, I cannot imagine who will be their scorer. Um, and then Minnesota just has been bad all season. They can't score. Um, neither of these teams have won a game uh, scoring more than like, I don't know, 115. So uh, I don't know. I just like the under a lot. And that's kind of the only real feel I have of this game, which is interesting to me that 60% is on the over, but I don't know. I just, I've done well with unders in the NBA for some reason, and I like the under in this game tonight. So guys, just, just real quick, I did want to talk about um, some upsets for today in NCAA basketball. You know, it's been really interesting to watch all of the games and, you know, see who all, you know, has been upset. It's just been nuts. Uh, it seemed like yesterday almost every game was an upset. So, you know, picking upsets for this weekend have been very hard, but it's very rewarding if you can get a gauge on it. So that's why I'm kind of trying to kind of talk about it a little bit here. Uh, you know, Oklahoma, here's a very interesting uh 
team to look at. Let's look at the money line here. And get rid of the spread because I don't care about the spread when talking about the underdogs. You know, they're they're plus 850 on DraftKings, which that is a lot of money. Uh, I don't really feel I feel like Gonzaga is the best team in the country, and I don't think Oklahoma is going to beat them today. But if you're looking for a bet that the reward is worth the risk, this is the one right here. Plus 850. I mean, if you bet, if you put five dollars on Oklahoma. That would probably get you not quite fifty dollars in profit, maybe like forty dollars in profit. That's insane. That's an insane margin of um, reward for that risk. Uh, that honestly might be worth taking just in case. You just, you just never know, as we've said in this video already, and then as of this weekend, that eight-one matchup is difficult for some one seeds. So. Uh, let's see here. Avalon Christian is definitely a team. I said in my bracketology video that I liked Avalon Christian, but I was too scared personally to take them uh, against Texas early. I ended up live betting Avalon Christian to win against Texas, like early in the first half. And I think I want to say I put five dollars to win like twenty or something. I'm not exactly sure, but that was insane. It was very nuts to watch that happen. I just wasn't brave enough to take the plus three, whatever it was, as the money line. Spreads a lot closer in this game. UCLA is not Texas. Honestly, they're a, they're another team to consider. They are, you know, a lot of times when you pick upsets in the tournament, you like to have a team that has some kind of crazy stat that would put them over the top. And Abilene Christian is top 10 in both offensive and defensive efficiency in the country. So honestly, that is something if you are a big fan of adjusted offensive and defensive efficiency, honestly, you probably just take Avalon Christian today. I don't really see them winning personally, but once again, you know, risk reward. If you think that plus 190 is juicy, if you like it, I'd say go for it. Now, Ohio Creighton, we've already kind of talked about a little bit that plus 195 in a lot of places, plus 198. I really like Ohio. I think that is a surefire winner. I think they are a sweet 16 caliber team at this point. I would love to see the matchup against Gonzaga. I think Gonzaga would beat them, but I think it would be a very interesting game. So I really like them. As we, as we already spoke, I, I, LSU, the, the money line is definitely interesting. I like Michigan. I, I think Michigan probably wins, but LSU will definitely keep that a, a close game. And that could be something to watch. Um, if Michigan gets a nice start and LSU starts to come back, you might get more value on this money line. Colorado, Florida State, I don't like that game at all. Maryland, Alabama, if you are a big Maryland fan and you don't like Alabama's uh, defense, especially that they played against Iona in the first round, they did not look that good, honestly. That plus 215 could definitely be an interesting bet for you. We already talked about USC, Kansas a little bit about the money line and that kind of thing. I'll tell you what, Oregon and Iowa down here. Oregon has jumped up a little bit. Some places you can still get them at plus 170, plus 180. If you guys watch this soon enough, that's that's a decent bet. That's They're up 10. They're up 10 points, and they're still at this plus 170, plus 180. So, guys, that's definitely very interesting to look at. Uh, I just want to kind of recap a few of the money lines uh, in NCAA basketball so, you know, you guys can see what you're looking at here um, in terms of maybe some upsets to pick because, honestly, that is where my money has been this weekend, and I think that is where you guys could probably make some money tonight as well. Um, but, yeah, guys, just a very quick recap. Uh, I had a really tough Saturday and Friday uh, first round in terms of what we picked on Friday. But despite that, we still managed to go about 500 on the week. So not bad. Um, made up for it with a lot of underdog picks uh, Sunday and Saturday evening, which was pretty nice. But, you know, it just kind of is what it is. So guys, thank you for watching. I appreciate the continued support. Uh, the first round kind of 
got all excited and kept making a lot of videos. I'm definitely gonna go back to the Monday, Wednesday, Friday platform. I think that I think you guys have a hard time keeping up with, you know, the schedule every day. I don't think every day works out. Um, I think I think it's probably gonna be officially set Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Uh, Super Tuesday is no longer a thing for NCAA basketball, so I don't really feel like I need to make videos on Tuesdays. And then Thursdays, I'm just I'm busy on Thursdays, so I don't feel like fitting or you know rushing videos for Tuesdays and Thursdays. Uh, just for you guys not to watch them. So Monday, Wednesday, Friday is definitely how we're going to do this for now on. Uh, but yeah, guys, uh, like the video, you know, subscribe to the channel for uh, and click the notification bell for notifications on these videos. So that way you guys can get the best information. Uh, maybe not necessarily the best picks, but the best info on games for sure. Um, you know, having a, having a fun March Madness tournament so far. Uh, WVU losing yesterday really kind of stung um in in my soul but you know that's the life of a mountaineer fan i guess uh get your hopes up just for them to knock them down but won't get too much into that guys thank you for watching uh you guys all you sports betting and sports fanatics out there have a great monday enjoy the you know second round matchups and uh yeah guys cue the outro